Hi guys, in this video let's go through an English paper piecing travel kit and if you wanted to do English paper piecing on the go, what is it you're going to have to take with you? So this is the video, so let's go through. Oh and before I forget, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, I have hundreds and hundreds of sewing tutorials, you can press that bell so you get that notification that I've posted a, another video, so let's go through what you are going to need for English paper piecing if you are going to create your own little travel kit, your English paper your English paper piecing travel kit. So first of all, these boxes are actually from a place called Michael's. It's an arts and crafts store that is widely available in both Canada and the States. Um, I'm sure that you'll be able to find something similar to this. So these are basically photo cases for scrapbooking. It comes in like a bigger carrier, but I can actually take each of these separate little boxes and put them in a tote bag. So basically this is going to be the first tote, the first compartment I'm going to talk about. These are for placing all of my finished English paper piecing sections. So when I've finished doing my English paper piecing, this is exactly why I'm going to put these little guys and then I can close up the box and put it in my tote bag and work on the next one. Now the next little compartment I have is for all of my fabric. So I make sure that I cut a bulk of my fabrics so when I am traveling and I'm doing my English paper piecing on the go then I have all of my fabrics cut because obviously you can't take out your cutting mat and start cutting all your fabrics you're going to want to do that beforehand so I have a lot of fabrics here so I can be getting on with my English paper piecing when I'm on the go my next storage compartment contains all of my English paper piecing templates. Now I do my templates using my Cricut Maker and I have done a video on that. So don't get to subscribe to this channel and go and check out my videos on English paper piecing. I have a lot of tutorials on English paper piecing. Um, I have over 400 videos on just quilting and sewing so there is a whole resource on my channel so don't forget to subscribe so these are my cardstock paper piece and parts i like to use cardstock because i find that the fabric folds over very easily so this is cardstock and i cut them all out myself including the little holes i get the cricket to cut this out i used to use a hole puncher but now i get the cricket to do that so my next compartment has all of my stuff inside. So let's go through what we have in here. First things first, I have my pin cushion. If you want to know how to make this pin cushion, um, it's on my channel. So I will link it down below. It's an English paper piece and pin cushion. So obviously I have my hand needles in my English paper piece and pin cushion. So cute. I love how this turned out. So. Part of my travel kit for my English paper piecing is a pincushion. So until recently, I was actually still using an iron to do my English paper piecing. And now that I want to do it on the go, obviously taking out an iron and pressing things on the go is not realistic. I'm not paid or sponsored in any way for this video. And this is the particular glue that I use. I'm sure they're all very similar. Um, basically it has a cap on it make sure that you put the cap on when you're not using it and it basically retracts the glue out and then back in and then also these are my refills just in case I run out of glue when I'm on the go then I have my refills of glue for my English paper piece in the next thing I use is this particular thread. You will have to buy this from a quilt store. I'm not paid or sponsored, remember? I just like this thread. So this is what it is. I have it in white. I have it in blue. And I also have it in pink. I mean, I predominantly just use the white, but depending on... Sometimes I like to swap colours. So yes, you're going to need some thread. 
The next thing you're going to need for your English paper piece and travel kit is a pair of scissors just to snip everything away. And when you're re-threading your thread and stuff, it's always handy to have a pair of scissors and I have these cute little um, pink flamingo scissors. You're also going to need like some sort of a garbage bag. So I'd probably just take with you a um, Ziploc bag and then you can put all of them like loose threads in there. I wouldn't necessarily put your loose threads in one of these little compartments because when you're moving stuff in and out of these little boxes, you're probably going to get threads everywhere and it's going to get all over your pants or your skirt or whatever you're wearing. Yeah, I would probably take a Ziploc bag with you with your English paper piecing travel kit. So that's basically all you're going to need for your English paper piece in a travel kit, these little four boxes. Um, I like to keep them all separate because I just like to keep things like a little bit organised. Um, and then I would put all of this stuff in a tote bag. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my next video. I have hundreds and hundreds of sewing and quilting tutorials on my channel. So there's going to be so many more things that you're going to find useful on my sewing channel. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.